All right, we'll get started, I guess, at three minutes after. Good morning, good afternoon. Good day, good morning. Started in a couple of minutes here. If you have anything to add, let's put them in the meeting notes, agenda item. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hey, Peter Tor also joining from Intel. Hi, welcome. All right. <clears throat> Does anyone have anything they'd like to go over? <clears throat> well, um, I have something around the best practice categories that I put in there. Nobody has anything else? <clears throat> Jump into that. Let's see. 
If you're talking, I'm not hearing anything. Just to confirm, I can hear you, Taylor. I All just right. have nothing. I just have nothing to add. All right. Let me see here. I can. I'm trying to get on the different pages where these are listed. And I don't see any um, new discussions or let me look at pull requests. There's no open pull requests. I'm going to share my screen. Maybe that'll be easier for. And Oliver and Peter, if you'll have something you want to go over, just speak up or type it in. So no pull request, um, open issue wise. Uh, one of them is about adding a category that we haven't had in the CNF working group, but it's existed for um, six months or more in the test suite, resilience. Uh, but I won't delve into that because we're about to talk about categories. Define cube native. I don't know. I feel like this one. Define cube native. I feel like this may have been added. So just doing a little cleanup here. Let's not go into edit mode. Glossary. Kubernetes. Did we never add this? TBD. Hmm. What is this? Committers. This is probably something that we need to circle back to and get in place. How do we get people commit access on the repo? Um, I'll put that on the agenda for talking with catchers. Do not run containers. Oh. This one's probably still a good one that Ian put forward. And we have discussions about it. We have a bunch of docs from the last three months about um, least privilege, principle of least privilege. So that one's still a good one to put forward as a best practice. Leave that one up. All right. Uh, what was the other one? Yeah. Okay. So we might close that top one out. Ian's not here. Let's tag him. All right. All right. Um, if anyone has comments, please speak in. So best practices. I'm going to have to go over this when there's more people as well, but for those that are on it. 
So we have um, this. I'm going to go like this. Here's the categories um, other than resilience that we have. Configuration life cycle, stallable, all these things, observability. It doesn't have resilience. That's the one that's not there. And, and there's been questions about updating some of these for a while and comments on the CNF test suite. So related for the documentation and publicizing on practices that we do in the working group, test suite, testing those things. Been talking about updating these. Um, the first two are kind of areas of concern, um, hardware support and area of concern. Um, and then we get into stuff like we expect observability, uh, security area of concern, we expect compatibility and how to make it where there's area, these um, categories or sections that we're going to have practices in them and that we can test those practices. They make sense. Um, they're valuable when someone comes in and understands what they're about. We've been talking about updating these and getting comments for a while. And in the test suite side, we've been looking at it a little bit, um, potentially updating. So uh, let me see. I didn't get a slide ready for this. Was, I'm going to give kind of a, a draft of what we were thinking about right now. Some ideas, potentially update draft, um, or maybe I call it work in progress. Um, category update. Um, so right now there's 10 in the test suite, nine on the working group, but I think we'd add resilience because we've had a lot of what would be um, good practices. You, there's a lot of things that you want to cover on resilience and availability and stuff. So that just hadn't, there's a ticket open, just hadn't been added. Um, what we're looking at here is some merging and updates around naming. The configuration lifecycle is so large that um, you end up with a so many different things all covered in one, it becomes a massive category. So what we've done here, the suggestion is to split it up. Um, life cycle kind of gets merged and the parts in life cycle get merged into other areas um, that cover what it's doing. And you, the configuration would be, potentially we could rename it, but what we're really talking about is declarative configuration both for what you think of as like the config files, the what do you need to do to get something ready, deployment, and you know, all the way through upgrades, but also stuff around like declarative APIs. All, everything declarative. So this is what that's about. So maybe it should be declarative configuration or something. But that's that category. Um, this one, if we look back, merges several. So you got the compatibility there. There's some stuff from life cycle, installable and upgradable. <clears throat> um, compatibility, installability, upgradability. So that ties in with a lot of the practices in that area for managing uh, the applications, how they work together, how they work with the platform, how you can deploy new versions, downgrade, all of those sort of things. There's a whole lot of security ones. So this one's becoming a large um, category and potentially security could be part of everything, but right now um, 
seems like people are going to look for it. So we're not suggesting to merge that. State also would be something where there's going to be faithfulness in a lot of areas, but right now it seems like pointing those things out is important. So keeping that separate microservice observability, same sort of things. Um, that resilience category, merging, um, scalability would merge in with these. So there's a scaling, or I think it's called, it is called scaling here. That merges in, so talking about um, how available it is, reliability is an indicator. So we don't have reliability right now as a category, but that's what we're talking about with regard to services. We want the services to be available and reliable. Adding resilience and different practices on making things available and stuff. That's what this is about. So yeah. Uh, thoughts and feedback and let's see who else joined us anybody oh hey daniel going over a this is kind of a work in progress proposal but to get feedback from folks as well category updates to um, have them make more sense. We also want alignment with the the test suite. We were missing a category, but trying to merge them and make it work a little bit better. I have a question, um, Taylor. I, I think the to me the the categories makes sense. Um, <clears throat> I'm just curious, since as you're referring to the test suite, um, <clears throat> since there are tests already in the test suite. Do you do you see any way we could actually um, bring those best practices that are in the test suite into these categories in some way? Like are you just referencing them or pointing to them? I don't I don't know. I'm just it, I'm not saying it's a good idea. I'm just curious since there are categories and there are tests today. What are your thoughts there? Um are you saying the tests that are in the test suite um, create best practices for them in the working group within those categories. Uh, yeah, I, I think. I Is think that what you're? I'm just trying to make sure I'm understanding. Your yeah, topic. I think that I think that's what <laughs> I think that's what I'm saying. Uh, I was just I was just reacting to the fact. I mean, you're mentioning these categories and the fact that you have the categories in the test suite as well. Yeah, and I'm, just, and I'm just thinking to myself, the test suite is obviously not empty. Um, you know, there are tests that are fulfilling some purpose around some of these different categories. So my question was really, you know, what would prevent us, uh, you know, good idea, bad idea, I don't know, but I'm saying what would prevent us from actually populating some of those best practices, you know, from the, the that are already part of that test suite? Or is that just a bad idea? Oh, I definitely think it would be a good idea to move those over, or I'll say create practices around that. It's more of just the effort to do so that needs to occur. Um, but that's, you know, it's, um, it's, it's an area I'm trying to work on some, my plate's pretty full, but I'm, I'm trying to do that for sure. And um, anyone else who would like to, to do that would be happy to to work with work with you on it, um, and that can make it um, e you know potentially easier to to add new categories since we're working from something that already has content. Um, especially newer tests, we're trying to add the why why it's valuable, what it's testing and um, wherever possible remediation type of results, which may point to say upstream documentation. Here's where Kubernetes talks about this thing um, or whatever. And that can um, help with writing up the best practice content in the uh, working group 
and of course expand on or add new user stores or use cases. Um, I'm going to show this like this is just kind of a, a working uh, little draft here of, of content when we're looking at the test suite. Um, but the security um, has these. It actually has a lot more, but here's a chunk of them from the snapshot back when it was uh, created. Some microservices, configuration lifecycle, installability. Um, so what we'd want to do is go look at the you know newest what what the newest um, set are and can go in like here's all those resilience things that we we're talking about. So yeah, for sure we could go in and and do that for all of these categories. Okay. Yeah, and it may not be the right that we do them right now. I mean, it may may make sense. I was just thinking there you know, as we have these categories and start populating some of the tests or best practices we already have, you know, unless they unless we don't agree with them. To your point, you can change them, you can add them, delete them. That uh, kind of allows us to move from an empty uh, empty categories to to starting to populate some of those. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Anything else? Try to make a version of this, it's easier to see. That at four seven. That looks like what we're looking at. All right. So here's what we have. And there's a potential suggested change. We keep security, observability, microservices, state, these. We have a, this compatibility and solubility upgradability, which takes some of the configuration lifecycle, takes this ins installation upgrade and merges that. Um, this reliability, resilience, and um, availability is merging some of the things from lifecycle scaling um, into that one. Hardware support, which could get a, a little bit of the configuration or compatibility as well. Any feedback on that? Daniel, Oliver, Peter, everybody. You find it easier <clears throat> to understand what would fit into seven versus 10? It's almost like when you're doing the, the going to the optometrist and say better or worse when <laughs> right. switching out the lens there. Um, I, I think it's clear to me. It's clearer this way. Yeah. I mean, less is better as long as everything is kept at the right places. Yeah, I would agree. All right. Is there any categories that, that y'all are just thinking, we should have this, why is it missing? Or you think, here's a better name for that category.
is large scale result of doing those here correctly or I'm sorry is what the proper scalability is result of doing those here correctly and not a separate something the scalability yeah um the scaling was one that we thought would merge just to reduce the number of categories yeah, yeah. and it can it can mm -hmm. okay and be part of some of it's trying to communicate we're trying to communicate what are you getting out of this or what is a very important area with the way these are set. Um, security would be one that can go either way, but it's something everyone is you know, recommending. So mm -hmm. highlight it yeah. right now. Um, the reason why you want scalability is not just to scale, because you could always put extra servers that are just sitting there um but that ties into either resource efficiency scaling up or down but you want to make I, I think from the standpoint of especially the telecom industry it's tying into service reliability and are your services always there and available and and then you get back to resource efficiency so i guess it's decreasing the okay. resource efficiency that's kind of the thinking there Thanks. But if we need to highlight it, we can always bring it out. All right. Well, I guess that's it for now. Um, if there's nothing else, we can just stop there. But again, it's a half hour. Anything else, y'all? If you um, do see a test that you really want to have a best practice for, you think it's important. If there's an area you can look at the test and um, this one's i think related to maybe one of the current open issues uh, it's probably be related to like this one this is a privileged flag here's here's one about privileged containers and talks about it's important there's a nsa uh, kubernetes hard, hardening guideline Got a bunch of others in here on the and you can see those we're adding more and more content on the details on why these are important resilience category has a lot of these too and i'd be happy to work with folks if you want to add these as best practice just reach out thanks everyone Thanks. Thank you. See you. Nice day. See you next week.